Alright guys, so unless you've been living under a rock, there has been a new AI that has been taking over the internet called DeepSeek. And everyone is saying that it's much better than ChatGPT in, in terms of coding. But I wanted to test that out for myself and if it's actually good with Roblox coding, or in other words, Lua. So we're going to see if it can fix this sprinting problem that mobile users have. So let me show you guys what the problem is, first of all. I'm going to just open up my phone emulator right here, cool. And I'll show you what the problem is, okay. But as you can see, we click the button. Um, this is this is the old script. This is my script, which I want to fix, not AI, like edited yet. I'm gonna be comparing DeepSeek to ChatGPT and seeing which one is actually better. And as you can see, guys, look, that's the problem. I'm walking around, moving around, all normally right, but look, it's not replenishing, which it should be. And I have to click it again for it to actually replenish again, even though it's not meant to do that. Because this is how it's meant to be. As you guys can see, look, it's not moving. It replenishes like that. But once you run out of it, then it doesn't for some reason. You have to click it again for it to do it. I hope you guys understood what the problem was. Now, I did already ask DeepSeek a simple prompt. So first of all, I provided the code, the entire code to it. And all I did is ask, can you please make it so when a mobile player sprints and when the stamina runs out, it replenishes without needing to press the button again. And um, it came with this script and let's test it out guys. Let's see if it works. What is intended for it to happen is it's meant to replenish. The stamina bar is meant to go back and uh, fix itself. Alright, that's what it's meant to do. So I pasted it in. This is the this is the deep seek code. So let's just rename this one. Deep seek code. So this is the first try by the way. Alright, let's see if it fixed the problem. Alright guys, so as you can see I'm running. Um, so last time the problem was when the bar reached the very bottom or when it ran out when the seven ran out it wouldn't replenish but now it's replenishing my my walk speed is back to normal and everything it works and i can press it again and oh my god it worked as you can see first try i asked deep seek first try and it worked okay Maybe this AI isn't too bad. I even asked it with some name ideas, but <laughs> let me just show you guys. I wanted some name ideas because I don't know what to call like the monster in the pool rooms. I'm going to be making a monster for this area, right? Like a sea type monster. I described it to deep sea how I want the entity. And let's see what it <laughs> gave me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are kind of... Like, well, how do you even pronounce this? Anyways, that's the same with ChatGPT, to be honest. So that's what they both lack in. I've always asked ChatGPT for like, name ideas and it gives me the worst possible names. But with coding, so far, it's going pretty good. So now, I'm literally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this message that I did for the code. I'm going to do a new chat because that's what I did with DeepSeek. And we're going to ask her the same exact question and see if we can get it first try. All right, here we go. All right, let's just... Do a little comparison real quick. So this is how Deep Six starts off the message. This is how ChatGPT starts off the message. So obviously, you can see that it's different. Okay, you can see it runs in a similar way. Like it tells you to change this. Oh, look at this. ChatGPT added an unneeded variable bro like oh, there's no point in that this guy literally didn't add any new variable deep seek legit fix it up chat gpt added some random stuff so <laughs> this is low hopes for me right now and i'm on the free version for both by the way no paid uh, is they even paid for deep seek i don't know all right let's go ahead and test it out now, this is a deep seek code we're just gonna go ahead and copy paste this we'll rename this to chat gpt code all right so now you know which one's which then we're going to go ahead and paste the chat gpt code right here Let's do a quick comparison. How many lines is the deep the deep seek code? 198. And then the ChatGPT code is 200. Oh, basically 199. So I have a feeling ChatGPT won't be as good. But we'll just see. And hold on, I'm seeing something right now. Oh. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Look at this. <laughs> this is what I mean. ChatGPT does not know how to do it, bro. Look. It's calling a function that is below where they can't be called. You know what I mean? Like, you can't call a function that's underneath the line. Like, you can if this is on top of running ended. If that makes sense. But since it's below the calling line, it's not going to work because it doesn't even exist. But, <laughs> so this isn't even going to work. Let's just try it anyways. I'm going to be rating each AI model at the end of this video too. By the way guys, if you don't know what I'm testing, this is my game right now, which you guys could play. Link in the description. Um, it's a fun game. You guys will definitely love it. It's way more fun with friends as well. So yeah, you guys will definitely get scared. If not, you'll enjoy every moment of it. But see, this is the ChatGPT code, by the way. 
and it, it didn't work as you can see so yep we know what the true winner is as you guys could see i tested it out for you guys myself so if you ever wanted to use any ai model for coding or for roblox coding specifically then i'm pretty sure you all know the winner and it is the deep seek ai all right chat gpt is now outdated we have a winner is deep seek so there you go guys deep seek literally got a first try chat gpt completely ruined it didn't even work i'm giving my rating now deep seek i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 okay well in terms of coding we're gonna rate it now 10 out of 10 chat gpt like 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 a 5 or 6 out of 10 so yeah there you go there you have it like subscribe if you find this video helpful or informative but yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye